Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, David Madden, Market Analyst here at CMC Markets. Today's date is Wednesday the 21st of March 2018 and the time has just gone 12.30 GMT, half 12 p.m. UK time. And this week's Chart of the Week is the Hang Seng, or as we call it here at CMC Markets, the Hong Kong 50. So taking a look at the price action over the last few months, we can see that the market had a very strong finish to 2017 and it went on and had quite a positive start to 2018. It's a classic example of higher highs and higher lows. But the Hang Seng, like other equity markets, was caught up in the major sell-off that began in late January, early 20, or late January, early February of this year. So after a, quite a sizable market 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 sell-off in February, the market did manage to to bounce back. We had a bit of profit taking on on the bounce back, and we have managed to push higher yet again. Uh, overnight, the Hang Seng hit it, traded just just north of 32,000. A level not seen in over six weeks. It's one of the it's the only major global equity index to actually create a multi-week high, considering what was going on in the wider equity market. So, seeing as the Hang Seng is not is ratcheting up multi-week highs when other markets uh, are, are 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 languishing, it would suggest to me that the Hang Seng is in a far better shape in terms of correction mode than the other uh, global equity markets. So. If the market does manage to retake the 32,000 level, we could be looking at, at, at testing this, this this price here created in early this high here created in early January early February rather of 32,368. If you go north of that, the big psychological number to watch out for to the upside would of course be 33,000. And if you go beyond that, then the January high of 33,525 would then come on the radar. If you take a look at the price action uh, in, in recent sessions, we can see just north, this price area here, this just north of 31,000 has acted as support. And should it remain north of that level, it's likely that we could see continuation of the, of the, of the correction that's been in place for the last month or so. So, But if you do manage to, to, to drop below 31,000, we could look at finding support in at the 100-day moving average, this line here, which comes into play at 30,330. Notice how the 100-day moving average did manage to actually provide support uh, only a few weeks ago. Uh, if the market drifts south of there, and if you do manage to take out this level here, 29,804, the March low, if you do manage to have a break below that, that could be an indication that the correction isn't is, is actually is actually over, and we could be looking at retesting the February low of 29,000. And 53. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.